Hello there, welcome to another devlog. In this update I've changed the controls, camera, added checkpoints, a timer and a finish. Starting with the controls update, it's nothing much exciting visually, but it sure improves the gameplay. Now you can lay back and enjoy the game on your controller, keyboard or both at the same time. The camera also got an update, the previous one was jittery and had some bugs, so this new one is a lot smoother and more satisfying to use. With the right analog stick you can rotate and change the zoom, as for the mouse, click and drag plus the scroll wheel. To keep things organized, one thing that I like to do is separate the game logic from the level. That way the level just knows information related to itself, like spawn point, number of checkpoints and the goal. And I can simply unload the level scene and load another one so it's easier to test levels. Each stage will have a luggage prefab that will spawn on the vehicle's trunk. And the actual trunk will be the whole vehicle, meaning you can actually deliver cargo as long as it remains on top of the car. If cargo touches the floor, it's gone forever. And if you lose all the items, it's automatically game over. Next item on the list, checkpoints. These are not mandatory, you can finish a level even without crossing any. For the visuals, I followed Bracky's tutorial and ended up with this look. I didn't want to spend too much time on the visuals and I didn't have a bad idea, so this will do for now. Also feel free to throw ideas. The way they work is simple. Once you go through one, your position and cargo position are stored. If you fall, you can reset to the last checkpoint you crossed with the items you had previously. This is a great feature if you want to practice a section of the track or if you feel like your cargo is going to fall. I think it's a nice addition to the game. Of course, if you are going for a fast run, you might have to consider not using the reset button. Ok, so now we need a way to end the level. Here's how it works. Once the player enters the goal, he must stay inside it for 1 second. And as I said previously, as long as the cargo is on top of the vehicle, it counts. With the goal to reach, we need a time to beat. So I quickly put a timer on the scene, connected the logic systems and all I needed to do now is calculate the final score. As I said on the last devlog, the score will be based on how fast you were and how many items you delivered. The formula used to calculate the score is item count times constant divided by time times multiplier. This means the amount of items you deliver has a greater impact in time. Now with driving, checkpoints, timer, a goal, we have the skeleton for our game. It's nowhere near completion though. There are still lots of development to do, levels to create, but it's taking shape. In the next update I'll bring some level design. If you want more regular updates you can follow my Twitter and join my Discord. That's all for this devlog, I hope you enjoyed. If you feel like supporting me I have the links to my pages below. Thank you very much for watching, that's all, peace.